ago, me and my friend uh, were listening to a song called uh, Recursion Man. It's a song in Hebrew uh, about a superhero who saves the world using recursion. And then we listened to the uh, solo in the end of the song. And my friend went, wait a minute, this, this music is not recursive. So we looked at each other and uh, ran to Cubase and uh, started, uh, started making recursive music. So this, uh, this little thing here is our musical interpretation of the Koch curve. Uh, in case you don't know, this is what the Koch curve looks like. It starts with a line, then you divide into three, and uh, uh, the middle section is uh, um, divided like so, uh, into two lines, and uh, then you do this again for every line, and this is how it turns out. It's uh, an infinite uh, line. Um, and we decided to uh, make a, a musical interpretation of it. So we start with one note. That's what we started with. And then we, uh, after, after it's done, we copied it and uh, moved it one octave higher. And then we divided it into three. And uh, the two, uh, the beginning and the end parts are the same as, uh, as it was before. And the other one is one octave higher. And then we took each of these lines and divided them into three. And this is now half an octave higher, six semitones higher. And then we did the exact same thing again over here. Each one of those is now, is now these. Uh, so this is uh, two semitones higher. No, it's uh, one and a half semitones higher. Three semitones higher. Yeah. Uh, three semitones higher. Um, and then we have this one, which is the smallest, uh, because we don't have less than one semitone. Well, we could do that with the pitch band, but uh, yeah. So this is what uh, the, uh, the the shortest uh, sound sounds sound, sound like. Okay. Uh, of course it. Again. So uh, then we decided, okay, let's uh, let's make it into a song. Let's layer it uh, over each other. So we have the the basic sound. We gave it a little bit of distortion because it's a drone sound all over the the piece. So we want to uh, give it a little bit of uh, presence. Uh, so we gave it a little bit of distortion, a little bit of distortion. Uh, so this. Is the sound we have the second layer, which is the thirds and the ninth, ninths, and the twenty sevenths, and so on and so forth. And this is what it sounds like. Uh, well, let's put it from the middle, like from here. <laughs> like to give it a little bit of um, of uh, of uh, you know uh, percussion and stuff uh, so we have the final version and you can find that on the, on SoundCloud uh, yeah so basically um, uh, then we we looked at like that thing so wait a minute this looks a whole lot like Serpinski's triangle and then again, we looked at each other, and we came up with this. Now, this, uh, unfortunately, cannot be done because the big one, it's, it's, too, it's too big. Like, this is the lowest sound we have. Uh, what's going on? 
Oh yeah, it's muted. <laughs> yeah, so this is like the lowest sound we have. This sound doesn't exist, and this is the highest sound we have. This one doesn't exist. So we can't, we can, couldn't do this, so we did that. Uh, you already heard it, let's hear it again. That's pretty awesome, uh, if you ask me. So uh, you can download uh, both of these uh, from SoundCloud. Uh, they're pretty awesome. And uh, if you want to check out the friend whom I uh, made it with, uh, you can go to his YouTube channel. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. He has some pretty neat stuff there, like uh, a platform game uh, made out of Game of Life and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll end this video with listening to uh, the final product of uh, the Koch Curve uh, thing. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>